I'm just telling you something that the scripture says. You give wherever the Lord wants you to give. Wherever he wants you to give. He may want you to help your neighbor. Maybe that's out of work. That's having trouble paying their bills. He might want you to pay your neighbor's bills for them. He might want you to buy them some food. Their little children may be starting school. He might say, go buy them children some clothes and some shoes to wear to school. When you have a heart that's willing to give, when you live to give, live to give, then you know what? You will live by your giving. You will live by your giving because whatever you give away will return to you. And you say, well, what if I give and somebody, and I don't know why I'm talking about this today, what if I give and somebody misuses it or something? It's between them and God. You give where you're led to give, where God tells you to give. And don't give because, you know, people get on TV or radio and say, well, now, you know, this is good ground and stuff. And it may be. It may be good ground. And no, God's not going to get mad at you for giving an offering. But you know what? Ask the Lord where and how and how much. Because he's the one that's given it to you. He's give us all things. And you know what? I, there was someone I heard of the other day. A man of God was talking about another man of God that gave God 90% of his income and lived off the 10%. 90% of his income he gave to God and lived off, lived off his 10%. Wow, that's a man that didn't consider living a life of luxury, maybe. And there's nothing wrong with having abundance of things. But you know what? When you put God first in your life and say, Lord, it's all yours. It every bit belongs to you. What do you want me to do with it? Well, I tell you what, God will give you direction. And you know what? You won't lose one thing. You will not lose one thing. But he'll always make sure that you're blessed, that you have an abundance of things. He'll always make sure that you walk in health. When you believe him and take him at his word and say, God, I'm yours and everything I have belongs to you. When you take him at his word, praise God, then the gates of hell will not prevail. That's a key. The gates of hell will not prevail against you in your life. Yeah, troubles might try to come. Yeah, and, it's, and some said many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Out of them all. The Lord is right there. He'll be with you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Because you know why? You're abiding in him. He's abiding in you. You're doing what he told you to do. You're obeying him. And the Bible says that obedience is better than sacrifice. Obeying him. Lord, what do you want me to do? What would you have me to do today? Lord, your will be done in my life. Your will, not my own will. But your will. When you lay down your life for Jesus, the Bible says you'll find it. He that loses his life will find it. See, the Bible says that we are made by him and for him. We're made by him and we're made for him, for his pleasure. Well, I tell you what. When you realize that you're not your own, that you just can't do what you want to do. 
But you know what? Because you belong to him. Because that's rebellion when you say, well, I, I'm living my life. Time is short. Life is short. I'm going to live my life, and I'm going to do what I want to do. You're in rebellion. You are in rebellion. And when it comes down to it, you won't do what you, you won't get to do what you want to do because the devil will make sure that you do what he wants you to do. But if you say, Lord, I belong to you, I am not my own. I am bought with a price by the precious blood of Jesus. And I will to do what you want me to do. So, Lord, just give me direction. Praise God. And I will do what you want me to do. Then get into the Word of God and find out what He wants you to do.